Is there a rift between two statue companies? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Hi, I'm Chris the Batman Statue Collector, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about some uh, breaking news here that was posted uh, on Facebook. Uh, you may have seen it. Uh, if not, that's what I'm here to talk about today. Um, but basically, Legendary Beast Studios put out a press release saying that they are not associated with XM Studios and that their previous Marvel pieces would be canceled. Now, of course, that is going to disappoint a lot of you Marvel collectors out there. It sucks. Um, I do not have any inside information. This is just things that I have observed over time. And again, maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't. But as far as I understood it, um, XM Studios, again, well-established company in the industry, um, there's been some things maybe going on there. Um, things have not been... well. I'll get to that here in a second. I'll get to that in a second. So, Legendary Beast, obviously, was using XM Studios' license. XM Studios has the license, which means if you're new to collecting, um, a company purchases the license to make licensed materials, such as DC Comics or Marvel Comics or Jurassic Park or G.I. Joe or whatever franchise, right? You have to pay for it. You have to pay for the right to make it. And then you have to get approval and all that stuff, okay? So basically, XM Studios, they own the license for Marvel and DC. Well, XM Studios leased out or let another company use their license to produce other things. That company being Legendary Beast Studios. And Legendary Beast Studios made third scale Hulk, third scale Captain America, third scale, um, you know, all these great Marvel pieces, including a Captain America. Okay, and I'm going to get to that Captain America in just a second here. Okay, so I had been hearing that there might have been maybe some issues there between the relationship between XM Studios and Legendary Beast. Obviously, Jay Sia is the owner and creative director of uh, Legendary Beast Studio, and obviously, they were putting out great products together. I would assume that XM Studios would get a cut of whatever Jay sold. That Again, that's just me guessing here. I don't have any inside information, but I mean, that's how things work like that, right? Uh, if you if you let somebody use your license, you're gonna get a cut, right? Um, just like, you know, other companies that distribute for other companies, they get a cut, right? Um, and so that's part of the business model. Um, but I'm assuming at some point, maybe that was starting to maybe fade or maybe the license had run out or the relationship had run out. Uh, or that contract, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because whenever Legendary Beast announced that they were doing the DC pieces, we all assumed it was going to be through XM Studios, just like the Marvel pieces. But no, um, nowhere to be mentioned was XM Studios. And so, obviously, again, there's to me, there's something there. There's something there. Again, I might not be correct. Okay, so I'm just going to say that right now. This is just me speculating. Um, but now... As of today, uh, Legendary Beast put out a another thing here because they had announced um, some new pieces, which a lot of people were really excited about. We actually got to see some 3D printed at a convention. We got to see Thanos. We got to see Wolverine. We got to see um, Venom and Spider-Man, which I thought looked phenomenal. Um, but now, unfortunately, some of those are not going to be made. They are not going to be made unless maybe Jay is somehow able to obtain a Marvel license. Then who knows? But is that Jay's design? Is that XM's? There's probably some gray area there. But I wanted to uh, share the press release with you here. And so let me go ahead and show you that and read it to you. Hey guys, before we get to that, just really quick, tonight, Rogues Gallery Live, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 East, 5 Pacific, you're not going to want to miss it, superstar Jeff Johns, that's right, writer, producer, uh, Batman versus Superman, Suicide Squad, head of DC, Marvel, like he is the man, we also have Jason freaking Fabok coming on, two mega stars coming on Rogues Gallery Live tonight to talk about their newest project, you're not going to want to miss it, we also have a statue giveaway, it's going to be awesome, we've got pictures to look at. Please make sure you join us tonight, 7 p.m. You're not going to want to miss it. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Legendary Beast Studios would like to inform our value customers of a change in our distribution agreement with XM Studios for all Disney Marvel licensed collectibles. Effective immediately, Legendary Beast Studios will no longer be collaborating with XM Studios on future projects. You heard me right. Um... The decision impacts the following uh, previously announced XM Studios Legendary Beast Studio Prestige Series statues. Thanos, Wolverine, 
Venom, and Spider-Man. And as you can see, they have all been canceled. That's right. They have been completely canceled. They are not going to be produced. Okay. Uh, they go on to say pre-orders for the Iron Man statue will not be canceled at, uh, as this piece is already in production. Um, existing orders will be fulfilled by XM Studios. Please note, fulfillment will be subject to XM Studios settling their existing obligations related to the statue. That is concerning to me, that comment right there. Uh, we understand this news may be disappointing and, uh, dis disappointing, and we sincerely apologize for any disappointment it may cause. Legendary Beast Studios remains committed to delivering high-quality collectibles uh, to our fans. We are excited to unveil new and innovative projects in the near future under our DC line and the Prestige and Wacko series. So there you guys go. So there it is, black and white. Um, I think it's disappointing because it's another ding in the collecting community. Uh, I've said before, we've talked about the fact that I feel like Things are kind of going south right now in terms of people buying, finances, prices going up, shipping, all that stuff, you know. Um, there's there's all of these factors that go into all of this stuff whenever we talk about collecting. But I am concerned when I see comments like this or posts like this of canceled products. We saw Henri Collect, uh, Creations, a company that just folded all of a sudden. Um, and the retailers, from what I'm hearing from retailers, they're not able to get their product and they're not able to get their money back. So the retailers are having to come out and say, hey, we're going to have to take that hit. We, as a, as a retailer, are going to take that hit, which in the long run, more than likely, that means that they'll have to pass some of that hit on to collectors in terms of fees and other things, which sucks, but I get it. I mean, if you're a small retailer, you can't take those kind of hits. So there has to be, there has to be trust whenever you're a retailer that buys this stuff from the company to resell to you. So there's a risk in all of that, right? Um, but again, are we starting to see things like this? Now, again, with XM Studios, they've been real quiet. There's been a lot of uh, pieces that have already have supposed to be out, like Robin King, some of these. And I have, I've, I've heard rumors that they are actually getting ready to ship now, thank goodness, because I know a lot of collectors were you know eagerly anticipating, but the, the wait has been weird. And it's been well overdue. We haven't really heard from the companies necessarily about maybe what's going on. Uh, is there financial trouble? Uh, again, there's been all of these rumors. And you know how rumors go, guys. We we hear all these things from insiders, from other, from other companies. We hear you know people kind of going back and forth. But is it the truth? Sometimes I feel like if the companies just come out and say, hey, this is what it is. Uh, you know, the rumors wouldn't spread and it wouldn't be incorrect information. Again, I, I, I'm not trying to talk today about incorrect information. Hopefully, uh, again, what we're talking about today is, is the truth and it is what it is. But sometimes we have to kind of guess and speculate because, again, we don't always have the information firsthand. Um, but it does concern me. It does worry me about partnerships and licenses um, and just companies really hurting because of the way collectors are buying right now or not buying right now. Um, is it some of the company's own fault at times? Probably because of the prices. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe certain times we got a little too greedy uh, or they got a little too greedy with the price points and the shipping and stuff like that. So maybe it's coming to bite them in some cases. But I don't want to see anybody fail. Like I, I, I want there to be a lot of variety. I've, I've talked about it for years on the channel that I want there to be um, a lot of positivity. I want there to be success uh, among all the collecting um, companies because that gives us the collector variety and different price points and things like that. And you know, you might like XM and I might like Sideshow and somebody else might like XM um, or a Legendary Beast rather. Or you know, it's like art is always in the eye of the beholder. I've talked about that a lot lately, but it's true. You know, and that's what's great about the variety. So I'm hoping that XM's okay. Uh, I'm hoping Legendary Beast is okay. Obviously, Legendary Beast is very excited about their their, their Batman DC stuff, but um, it is concerning, and it is it's really concerning, especially about that Iron Man piece. The way they worded that, ew, I really that really makes me nervous. Um, I just I hope because uh, again, like you know, my friend Jeff Delaney at Secret Sanctuary, he ordered that piece. So will he be getting it in? I don't know. It's not it's not looking great to me. 
So again, fingers crossed, Jeff. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, about this little breaking news. What do you think about this uh, this relationship? Do you think there's something going on there? And do you think that there is problems with XM? Um, and are you just bummed about them canceling more pieces? That always sucks because especially if you're excited about a piece that maybe down the road we'll still get a third scale Spider-Man or whatever, you know, that you'll love. But it does suck. It, it just sucks for everybody involved. I'm sure the company's included. You know, they, they don't want to cancel stuff. They don't want to have that problem. But it is interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for listening to me ramble on for however long. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, definitely, please do me a favor. Tune in tonight. Rogues Gallery Live, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Jeff Johns, you know, he's just an incredible superstar. Jason Fabok, another incredible superstar, coming on to talk about uh, their newest projects. So please tune in, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 East, 5 Pacific, only on YouTube. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.